What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. VP Tactical here. Appreciate you stopping by and joining me for today's video. We're gonna talk a little bit about uh, shotgun choke tubes. These are specifically Benelli's cryo choke tubes. Really cool product. Um, these are, because they're cryogenically treated, they're much harder from what I understand as far as the, the product construction. So less likely to damage. And these are actually also steel shot rated. So really cool. Um, and so if you're unfamiliar with choke tubes, how they work, and just wanted to talk a little bit about that, you know, when you might use them, et cetera. Um, just kind of run through that stuff with you. And of course, if you have any questions, comments, you know, always feel free to drop them below. Happy to address those and get back to you. And so just kind of looking at these choke tubes here. So we have going from left to right, we have cylinder, improved cylinder, modified, and then full choke. And so the differences with these is when you start off on the left-hand side here, like on cylinder, you're gonna see that it's very, very open. Let's grab these two here. So it, it, cylinder versus full. And mind you right now, you know, Benelli actually gives you five choke tubes. So normally you'd have that same row, but in between modified and full, we actually have improved modified, which is currently in the gun. And I just didn't want to take it out because I was being lazy. Nonetheless, so cylinder on the left here, full choke tube on the right. And so you'll notice it's actually pretty open on the cylinder versus the full, looks like there's a, a lot more material in here and it's tighter. And so effectively what you get when you have, um, you know, these varying size and, and, and choke tube differences, you know, something like this, it's very, very open. That's gonna allow the, the shot, uh, which it sits inside of this little plastic piece called a wad. It's going to spread out really fast as it exits the barrel or much faster than it would from full. Whereas the full is going to keep that, that wad that has all of those, those pellets inside of it really tight for a longer period of time so you can reach out to a much further distance. And so for, in cylinder, you're going to typically expect a you know an effective range of about 25 yards. Does that mean you couldn't hit farther away? That's sure, but you're going to get the, the vast majority of your pellet spread, about 40 inch spread uh, at 25 yards. Really good for close engagement. Um, home defense might be a, a you know ideal situation. Small game hunting, etc. Then we move on to improved cylinder. So 40 inch spread, 30 yards. Um, again, kind of that in between spot where we look at more of a, a you know, close engagement, which you, you could still use this again for close engagement. You're going to get a slightly farther distance out of that. You know, again, whether home defense, hunting, etc., duck, geese, bird, um, you know, maybe it's probably some smaller fowl, if you will. Uh, modified, you know, that's where things start to step up a bit. Uh, 40 inch spread, 35 yards. You know, I, I've actually used this along with improved modified, um, which we're going to get a 40 inch spread on this one, about 35 yards, improved modified roughly 40 inch spread about 35 40 yards maybe 45 uh, either one of those two are going to be suitable for trap skeet uh, sporting clays and that's actually why i'm running the improved modified it's currently in my shotgun now because i wanted a longer reach distance because I, I do shoot a lot of sporting clays and so with sporting clays if you haven't shot them um, you've got targets in front of you away from you you know varying distances speeds etc and i wanted to be able to reach out a little bit further without having to go to a full choke uh, of course, you could always spend money just like anything else to buy a aftermarket skeet choke, for example. Uh, I know that there's some out there just as there are ones that are made for, you know, rifled um, shotgun slugs, etc. So if you want something a little bit more custom to your liking, you know, you could look at an option like that. Some folks, um, you'll see some of the choke tubes and they'll actually extend farther past the barrel, give you some additional length. Uh, but also a lot of them will be ported too. So then that's where you get more into the custom ones. You're probably gonna spend, you know, maybe 100, 200 bucks on a choke tube, uh, maybe a set, but at least kind of give you uh, an idea. Full choke, uh, this one's gonna be roughly a 40 inch spread at 40 yards. So long range, larger game, uh, geese, some ducks, depending upon what you're shooting at. If it's you know a longer distance, you expect to be shooting at a longer distance, it's probably gonna be your better bet. What a lot of folks will do is what they call patterning. Um, you know, set your, set your, set a target up, you know, at a you know, certain distance, it might be 25 or 30 yards and try the different chokes. And you'll be able to see if you shoot, uh, they say or suggest about five rounds per choke, uh, you know, on different targets to see what exactly it looks like in terms of your pellet spread uh, and how many pellets in, you know, ultimately end up landing on the target and how wide it is. So basically how much of those pellets are you capturing based on that, that particular choke tube that you're using given a specific distance. And again, uh, major points to, to bring up, you know, definitely make sure, you know, 
These are from Benelli. These are actually rated for steel. They say that on the chokes. I would definitely check yours. If they don't say that on there, contact the manufacturer or try to obtain ones that are, that are made for steel. Uh, lead shot is actually much easier to compress. Steel does not want to compress, uh, if any, at all. So that can definitely do a lot of damage to your gun and or the choke tube itself, maybe the barrel. Not something you really want to mess with. So best bet, keep yourself out of hot water. Uh, get steel shot specific if you plan to shoot steel. Um, rifle, you know, or, or slugs, rifled slugs. Um, you know, again, good thing to do some additional research, contact manufacturer if necessary, at least do some reading and educate yourself in that regard. So uh, long story short, hope you like this video. Definitely hit that like and subscribe button. You can always find me on Instagram. You'll see a lot of my stuff on there. Sometimes even before, you know, they get aired uh, here on YouTube, Dat VP Tactical One. Uh, and again, just as a reminder, you know, I really appreciate the love and support. Just the same too, you know, hit really need the, the additional support, you know, hit that subscribe button, you know, as well as like, you know, ultimately I am a self-funded program. It's just me. Um, I'm pretty much paying for everything that you'll see. And as far as all of my videos are concerned, maybe there might be a, you know, one-off scenario where I get something for review from a company that, that doesn't cost me a thing. Um, but except for, you know, an honest review and that's what it is. It is an honest review. If I, you know, if something works great. If it doesn't, what I, what have you, but no, long story short is that I am self-funded. It really helps me out. Hit that subscribe and like button. As always, be safe, stay vigilant, take care.